The identity of Jack the Ripper is one of the most talked about unsolved mysteries of our time. Nobody really knows who Jack the Ripper really was, but plenty of people have come forward with guesses as to who or she might be. Yes, that's right, I said she. An expert has come forward with a bombshell of a claim, and that claim is that Jack the Ripper, the notorious killer from London's East End that murdered five women in 1888, could have been a woman. Welcome back to Inform Overload, I'm Charlotte Dobre, and I'm making my mission to bring you the biggest updates on the world's greatest unsolved mysteries. If that sounds like something you're into, smash the subscribe button. You should also follow the IO team on social media, our links are posted down below. Back in 1888, a murderer terrorized London's East End. The murderer cut up and mutilated prostitutes and caused mass hysteria in England. The media called this murderer Jack the Ripper. Scotland Yard was never able to figure out who the Ripper was, and all of their suspects were men. It is clear that whoever the Ripper was, they must have had some medical knowledge and a strong sense of how the human body worked, just based on how they chose to murder their victims. While the murders were happening, the Ripper, or someone pretending to be the Ripper, sent Scotland Yard several letters, as if to like taunt them a little bit. The letters were signed Jack the Ripper. But rather than Jack, it might have actually been a Jill. An Australian scientist, Ian Finlay, a professor of molecular and forensic diagnostics, examined swabs from the stamps and seals from some of the letters Jack the Ripper was believed to have sent the police. He used the samples to construct a DNA profile of whoever licked the envelope. He apparently developed a profiling technique that could extract DNA from a single cell, and even a strand of hair that was up to 160 years old. For some perspective, most DNA sampling requires at least 200 cells. At first, the samples were inconclusive, but later it became clear that the saliva on these envelopes came from a woman. Even though this sounds pretty unexpected, it does make some sense. After Mary Kelly was killed, who was one of the most famous victims, a witness claims that they saw her. The chief inspector on the case, Frederick Aberlein, suggested that the woman that the witness saw might have actually been a female killer escaping while wearing Mary Kelly's clothing. It is possible that this killer could have been a midwife and had medical knowledge. A woman would have also had much easier access to other women and the victims in the killer's murders. The interesting thing is, the woman who could have most likely committed these crimes was actually hanged back in 1890 for a different crime. Her name was Mary Piercy and she was a midwife. She murdered her lover's wife and child and used a method similar to the Ripper's. The victim's name was Phoebe Hogg. Her corpse was found in a pile of garbage in Hampstead, England. Her skull was crushed and her head was almost completely taken off her body. Her baby was also found dead in Finchley. The cause of death was suffocation. When police searched Mary's home, it was covered in bloodstains, which she said came from killing mice. Mary was also reported to have chanted, killing mice, killing mice, over and over in the presence of police, which could support the idea that she was likely mentally unstable. The lead investigator on the case is not the only person who thought that the Ripper could have been a woman. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the creator of Sherlock Holmes, also believed that the Ripper could have been a woman. He said that if the killer was a midwife, she could go around London with blood splattered clothes and no one would think anything of it. That being said, all evidence against Piercy is circumstantial, and there are no eyewitnesses that link her to the Ripper's crimes. What do you think? Could the Ripper have been a woman? Let me know. For now, it's that time again. Time to respond to some of your comments. Grimity Gaming said, I just came here for the comments. I should think you would have come here for the very interesting information, but I have to say the fans in the IO comment section are probably the funniest I've seen on YouTube. You guys make me laugh on a daily basis and I love it. Jay Say said, you should do more rants. Hmm. The Potato Queen shall consider this request. Eyeless Jada said, Charlotte, do a German accent. Last time I did the German accent, someone got offended. They like brought their grandma, and the grandma was like, oh, I'm so offended. And then they wrote a comment saying their grandma was offended, and I haven't done it since. They were party pooping, pooping all over my jokes. Yareli Villegas said, the Potato Queen is the smartest news reporter. I am smarter than I look, but I can't do videos about math. <laughs> P-Man Pass said, potato is an insult for bad computers. I didn't know that. Where I come from, being a potato is a compliment. Thank you for watching Inform Overload. This is the end screen. It means the video is over. But if you would like to keep watching, we put together a playlist for you that's right over there. And make sure you turn on notifications so you never miss one of our videos.